Hey, if you're looking for a good spot to run, bike, hike, just get outside, the Corvallis to the Sea, or Sea to Sea Trail, is now open to the public. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a new trail that links the Willamette Valley to the Pacific Ocean. It has been 50 years in the making. And joining us live is the general manager at Peak Sports, Jim Blount, and his pup, Charlie. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we want to hear you have been on this trail. We want to get all the details. You know, how was it and how was just your overall experience? Yeah, so it's a really awesome trail. It's pretty unique because it connects um, the Willamette Valley to the coast range. It's about 60 miles and it passes through uh, what was originally inhabited by Kalapuya, uh, Alsi, and the Aquina tribes. And there's just so much unique scenery and history along the route. And what's one of the coolest things about it is it was entirely built by volunteers. Oh, wow. wow. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Now, did your, did your pup Charlie join you on the trail? He doesn't seem very interested in talking with us this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yes, she you. did, actually. Uh, we've done it twice as an overnight on, on a bike. And okay. she can run the whole thing by herself. Oh, that's awesome oh and, and very cool that it is dog friendly too. Yeah. So you so you did it yeah. on bike. How long does it take if you're if you're biking versus uh, maybe right. like through hiking? What, what are we looking at? Yeah. So through hike, most people do in four or five days because mm -hmm. um, it's quite a bit to to walk the whole thing. Biking's easier. A lot of people will do it in one day. It's actually the biking route's only about fifty eight miles, but the best way to do it, I think, is to do it as an overnight. And uh, really, it's just about two half days of riding, so it's pretty easy to to do it over uh, an easy weekend. And uh, there's an awesome campground with a hiker biker site halfway called Big Elk that was specifically uh, that hiker biker site specifically for C to C through hikers and bikers. Oh, nice. Very okay, cool. so we're showing some of your pictures. Are there any you know top uh, picture spots? Any really scenic parts that people would would want to stop and, and get a shot of? Oh yeah, there's a, quite a few spots along the way where you can just get um, a very expansive view uh, um, of the coast range. Uh, Mary's Peak, it goes up around Mary's Peak, which is the highest point of the coast range, and there's some pretty awesome views up there. Oh, that's fantastic. It just seems like such a fun part of the coast range to yeah. go get out and explore. Now, if, uh, if you're not quite ready to go out and, and tackle it yourself, are there, are there tours or, or groups or any fun things that people can get involved with? Not yet, but uh, it's definitely in the works. We actually just launched here at Peak Sports um, an adventure services program this year where we're doing some guiding. So we definitely have our sights set on guiding the C2C, and we're really excited about that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Well, now, were you involved with it? You said volunteers did this. Were you involved with any of the putting that whole trail together and making it happen? Yeah, we did help out with some of the trail work and um, some of the bike route, bike routing and signs on that. And then recently we've just been really trying to take over, uh, helping with the promotion and getting the word out and being kind of a information center for people that want to hike it or bike it. Oh, that's great. Well, it looks like so much fun uh, for, for anyone who wants to get out there and, mm. and hit a new trail in Oregon, check out some new parts of this beautiful state. Uh, just a fantastic experience. Jim and Charlie, thanks for getting up early and joining us this morning. Great to see you. Yeah, thank you so much, Jenny.